Hey guys, what is up? DSG here, and today I will be showing you guys how to take your PSP um, version 3000, 2000, and I'm sorry, not the 1000s, they don't work um, for this setting. What I'm going to go and show you how to take your PSP, and instead of using the charging port there, we're going to connect it by a USB. So the first thing you're going to need to do, if you do not have the conventional means of charging it, which would be this little bad boy right here, the yellow tipped. Um, I think it's an 8 volt. Uh, it is a 5 volt, I'm sorry, 5 volt uh, AC adapter for the PSP 1000, 2000, and 3000. Um, I'm gonna, if you don't have this bad boy, let's say, just throw this bad boy out here. You do not have access to that. You're broke. You don't have any money. Like I was a little bit earlier before I bought that charger. You can charge it with a USB. I'm um, not really sure what this cable is called at all. Um, these two cables. So, that is the USB at the top of your PSP, right there. So, it's really simple actually how to charge it like that. Um, not a hassle at all, and you guys don't have to worry about anything crazy. You don't have to install any programs. It's really easy. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure your PSP is turned on. I mean, that's, that's pretty important. If your PSP is dead, you may as well go out and buy a charger. There's no other point. I'm just gonna set it down for a moment. But yeah, so you'll want to turn your PSP on, and you'll want to grab the USB charger. And while we're at it, we may as well just plug it on in into the computer we have set up up there. So let's see. Oof, mind the mess. Uh, I don't want to leave my. Take that out. And plug this in. And okay. Uh, you're pretty much, at this point, you're pretty much like halfway finished. Turn on the computer. Get out of this stuff. Alright, so now you're here. Okay, so now what, right? Get out of your game. If you're in a game, when it automatically boots up. And so now comes the harder part, which isn't really hard. It's just harder than what you did before. You're going to go over to your settings. System settings. Ooh, no, not nickname. Yes. And you're going to go down to, where is it? USB charge. It's just going to turn it on. It should be defaulted on for most. And then you're going to take your charger, and you're going to plug it in. Wait, no, it's not in the right way. And you're going to plug it in. And you're going to plug it in. There we go. You're going to plug it in. And make sure it says USB mode. Once it says USB mode, you should be set to go. Now you're going to leave your PSP there. You're going to go back to your computer. And your computer may say something like this, removable disk. Uh, just click out of that. And then just leave it running. And now it should be, my PSP is already at um, 100%, but it should be charging your PSP, and you'll see that by the battery going back and forth up there. So yeah, and that's the easy way to see. See my battery's going back and forth now. But that's the easy way to charge your PSP if you don't have the conventional charger. Um... So, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. But other than that, like, comment, share the video with people who still don't know how to. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Dark Shadow Guy out.